The first thing we're going to look at on this video is the right and left hand technique. We're going to start with the right hand first. Uh, I use two fingers and I use just this part of the fingers. And I personally use uh, hand cream just for sensitivity to the string because I've had problems where my fingers would stick <laughs> uh, to the strings. Uh, I position my hand in the middle of this area. Not back here because there's too much tension, not up here because there's too, too much flack. I rest my thumb on the pickup or on the E string for uh, support. And you'll notice I play fairly hard. Um, you'll notice I don't pluck underneath the string and pull it, but I just pluck it firm, alternating constantly, uh, almost all the time. If you dampen out the strings with your left hand like this, you create this percussive sound, or what is called ghosting, where the notes are completely dead. As far as my left hand is concerned, probably the most important thing I do is get this muting sound uh, where the notes are, are short and percussive, but you can still hear the tone of the note. And the way I get this is I'll put my second finger down on the note that I want to hear and putting the rest of my fingers down, the third and fourth. This is the sound that you get. Now if I lift the third and fourth, it down gradually you can hear the difference um, and that's how I basically get that sound one more thing that makes that sound happen is just from and that's just with the one finger just lifting up enough and then just hitting it dead um, that would be the ghost note which is different than muting because there's not really any note there. But those are the two things that make this happen. Okay, so at this point we're going to combine uh, both hands and try this exercise that takes you from the top to the bottom. And uh, with the right hand alternating both fingers evenly consistently across the strings. And the left hand is going to do the muting, but it's important to let the tone of the note still ring through. So it will be like this. And like I said, alternating and making it even and consistent. That's the important thing. Let's try this with 16th notes in the metronome. Just be sure to control the muting with your left hand so the notes don't ring into each other. Let's try it at a faster tempo. A good example of what we've been talking about with the 16th note feel is the tune What Is Hip. It's become kind of a signature tune with the band. Uh, its original concept was derived from the drummer at the time, David Garibaldi. He had this idea for droning on one note. Uh, and at the time, I remember thinking, this is not going to work. Um, but as it turned out, it turned out to be very hip. 
and uh, I enjoy playing it. You'll notice when I'm playing this line that I'll be playing more than just the root. I'll be playing octaves and adding the minor seventh and other intervals, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Uh -huh. 